Wake the f up. Hey guys, so welcome to another tea sesh with me. I am spilling so much today. We're gonna be talking about my disastrous first time trying edibles. And I'm also going to be eating while telling the story. I'm not gonna be doing makeup. I'm doing a mukbang with like crab, with like stir fry, melted mozzarella cheese, and soft boiled eggs. Um, this isn't an ASMR video, this is just a mukbang. And I'm gonna be telling this insane story while I'm eating. It's insane guys. I know everyone is probably gonna be like, wow, girl, you did edibles. Everyone knows about Thoughtiella. I was a thought when I was like 21 and 19 to 21 and I have some crazy stories from back then. Don't hate on me about like the whole marijuana thing. I know a lot of my friends have crazy edible stories but no one has a crazy edible story like mine. Let's just put it this way. I never had an edible since and I'm, I guess I'm kind of doing this video as like awareness. I had the craziest trip of my life and yeah I'm gonna explain it while I eat this. So with my busy schedule, it's really, really hard to get my daily veggie intake and to make sure I'm eating healthy. My body definitely feels the difference when I don't eat clean. So every morning I pop a scoop of this teamy greens into my tumbler or in a smoothie so that I make sure I get all my greens. You guys, it's been so hard to go to the food store and get actual like vegetables and like healthy food lately. So I've been having this. So this is what I'm drinking today. It does three things. It helps your digestion feel better, helps you feel more energetic, and helps you overall feel great. It tastes like a really healthy green juice and it's actually really, really, really yummy. It tastes like that matcha drink from Starbucks. It's so good. Some of the ingredients that I love are acai, wheatgrass, matcha. I've been working on trying to be healthier, so I've been drinking this instead of my coffee in the morning. I feel like this gives me such better energy. Like when I have coffee, I'm like feeling great and positive and energetic, and then all of a sudden I feel sluggish and I come to a crash, and with this, I feel like it's like a steady energy level. It's full of many vitamins and antioxidants, and right now I'm just trying to build my immune system and take in whatever vitamins I can get, and like I said, it's been pretty hard to eat vegetables like I used to because I don't go to the food store like I used to. So all in all, it's just like really, really hard right now to get every serving of vegetables that my body needs to have good immunity and energy. I feel like that I needed this. So much more energy with a higher veggie intake and it really tastes so good. Like it doesn't taste like you're drinking vegetables. The greens program overall helps me feel better every day. So I'm gonna link it down below for you guys because I know you guys are gonna be asking what the hell I'm drinking. And if you guys want it too, you guys can use the link down below. I love it, it's super cute. So let's get into the story time while I eat this delicious meal that I've been like craving to have. By the way, this is a keto meal, but speaking of keto, this is also keto so anyone that's on like a keto diet like me um this is great for that it's low in carb and i know i'm gonna get like eaten alive in the comments down below because i'm eating noodles but these are skinny noodles or smart noodles and they're only one gram of carb in a whole serving it's made by konjac root i believe and yeah so let's get into this i have the freaking craziest story so yeah let's eat and talk mmm this is so good. The sauce I made from home, I made a homemade peanut sauce with peanuts in it and cut up carrots. And I have crab floating around in the stir fry with the mozzarella and just like all that crab over there. I managed to get the ingredients for all this with Instacart. I didn't go to the food store. Mm. You guys want a bite of the stir fry with the mozzarella? Mm. It's so good. So, sorry if I'm rude or if you, if you guys think talking with food in my mouth is rude. If you don't like those kind of videos, exit out. Um, so, we go way back to my first apartment ever. I was 20 years old. No, I was 21 years old. I was in that apartment with the walk-in closet, the first walk-in closet ever, the Scream Queen's closet. And Colin and I had just gone public with our relationship. And... We were so excited because we used to, when we weren't public in our relationship, we used to avoid like going to like malls. We used to avoid going to restaurants because I knew people would see me and like take pictures and we didn't want it circulating. Mm. So we're like going for like a celebratory dinner because we had just gone public with our relationship a year into it. I know, weird, right? I don't know how we were private for a whole year. That was hard. At the time, Colin wasn't living with me. His old house was just like really close to my old apartment. So he was like, I'm gonna run home and get on a nice outfit. I'm taking you to the mall and I'm taking you to a nice dinner. Get dressed up, I'll be here in an hour. So, 
I remembered at the time Colin had this brownie sitting in the fridge, okay? And I'm like, I wanna be fun for this dinner. I know there's stuff in this brownie. I didn't know how to take an edible. Now that I'm older, I know like you don't eat the entire brownie. You eat a tiny little piece and it gives you the effect, okay? Well, my ass decides to eat the entire brownie as a surprise. I was just trying to be fun, you know what I mean? Like I wanted him to be like all of a sudden like, wait a second, are you high? I, I, I was just, that's just how I am. I was just like, I feel like being a goofball tonight. <sighs> A goofball, indeed, just wait. We get all ready, so he comes over, he's like, I'm ready to pick you up, and I'm like, actually, can I drive? Because his car at the time didn't have like an aux cord or anything, and I wanted to play like our songs on the way, because I was just like really feeling it, like we just started being public. So, we're driving to the mall, which isn't really close to me, like we live in the middle of nowhere, like it's not that close, or where I was back then. My apartment was like 40 minutes from the mall. Mm, this egg looks so good. Let's get some cheese on it. Mmm. So on the way to the mall, like, thank God I was getting close to the mall, I started going like this. And Colin goes, Gabby, are you okay? And I'm like, mind you, I had the entire brownie, not just a little sliver, the entire brownie. And I was just like, so we pulled over, switched, like, on the highway, he got in the driver's seat, and I didn't tell him yet what I did. I just said I was tired. Cause honestly, at that point, I forgot I took the brownie. Like I didn't know how an edible was supposed to act, so I just thought it was no different than smoking a blunt or a bowl. I thought it was just like a high. So I had no idea how edibles work, and I'm dumb. Please don't follow my lead, and please don't judge me for that. I just really was naive and like had no freaking clue. I shouldn't have done this, but. We get to the mall and the rest of this story, I'm telling you based off of what Colin has told me. I don't remember a thing. Like I, I don't even know if it's possible to say blackout, but I blacked out on this edible because I had too much. So once we got to the mall, Colin said, I said, let's go to Victoria's Secret. And I was really, really hyper. So. We went into Victoria's Secret and he said I got, the lady asked me if I wanted a, like a basket. And I was like, yeah. I started like throwing random size bras, like 36 double D in my bag. Y'all know I'm not a 36 double D. And he said it was funny, but like he was scared that like, he didn't know what was going on. And then I said to him, I had your brownie. And he was like, the whole thing? And I was like, yeah, the whole, the whole brownie in the fridge. He was like, oh. My God, he low -key started freaking out. He was trying not to laugh, but he was like, oh no. He was like, it's just an edible. Like what's the worst that's gonna happen? He didn't know that I would forget this whole thing. Like he had no idea. Let's have some crab guys. Oh my God. Mm, so good. Especially with the cheese. I'm like throwing random stuff in there. Stuff that like I already have too at the time. And I go up to the front to check out. Colin keeps trying to stop me from checking out. We're the only people at, in the store at this time because the mall is like almost closing. Uh, he said he didn't want the worker to think like he was being like an abusive or controlling boyfriend by being like, no, you're not allowed to buy this. Like, But he knew like I was so high and not myself and putting things in the bag that wouldn't even fit me, that I wouldn't even use. And he knew it was like a lot of money's worth of things in that bag. So he was trying not to get me to go to the front, but he also didn't want to look like a controlling boyfriend in front of the girl. So I go up and I said, I'm ready to check out. And Colin's like, no, 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 Gabby, no. And then she rings it up and it's $600. Mind you, these are things that like, like don't fit me. And Colin was like, excuse me, I'm sorry. Like she's not feeling well. And just like left the stuff on the counter and took me to the restaurant. He's like, you need food, you need water. He started getting really worried. And so we went to the restaurant. <laughs> this is my favorite part coming up. This part I kind of remember. Don't remember Victoria's Secret. <laughs> we get to the restaurant. It's a nice restaurant. The restaurant stays open longer than the mall. It's really cute. I filmed a few videos in here before in the past. It literally looks like Chanel outside of it. And we sit down. There's people all throughout the restaurant. It's a Friday night. It's like a date night. I'm all dressed up. Colin's all dressed up. And they bring us our menus. And before they can ask us like, oh, what do you want to drink? I was just like, I'll have this, 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 this. And I ordered like five things. I obviously had the munchies, but like, obviously that's rude. You know, like you go on a, your first date with your boyfriend, you don't order the whole fucking menu. <laughs> mm. 
This is so delicious, guys. I wish you could eat this through the screen. There's like crab, peanuts, carrots. I'm gonna mix the cheese in right now. That looks so good. So they bring out the first order calamari. I forgot to tell you, I ordered two orders of calamari. Like I ordered spaghetti, a salad, I ordered soup. I ordered so much crap, it's an Italian restaurant. And they bring out the calamari and I start devouring it. And Colin like is cracking up, obviously. He's like, this is funny. If this is what's happening, might as well enjoy it. He didn't realize how serious it was at the time. And we're just having so much fun. We're like two little kids in a freaking candy store. Meanwhile, I'm just high and we're on our first date and I'm picking out and being funny. And then all of a sudden, any of you who've been high before kind of might understand the whole throat feeling, but like, you know how sometimes if you like smoke or if you're high, like you get like this feeling in the back of your throat and it's like, it kind of feels like your throat's closing. Well, when I had the edible, my tongue felt weird. I had so much of this edible that like my tongue felt weird, my throat felt weird. I stood up in a five star restaurant. I stood up and I go, my throat's closing. Oh. Colin was like, oh my god, oh my god, he didn't know what to do. He was like, Colin was like, Gabby, are you okay? He tries to sit me down. He didn't know if I was being serious or not. Like, obviously, if I'm like I'm screaming on the top of my lungs in a restaurant, like obviously I can breathe if I can yell. So um I kind of remember this because I remember seeing people staring, like what the f and I remember Colin looking really scared. And I said, the calamari, I'm having an allergic reaction. Bitch, I love seafood. Look, I'm eating seafood right now. I've always eaten seafood, but all of a sudden I swore I was allergic to shellfish. My throat was closing. Colin was like, it it's okay, I'm here for you. And then I stood up again after he got me to sit down. I'm like, help, my throat. And meanwhile, they're literally bringing out the second platter of calamari after I just had some of the first plate. I didn't even finish it. And Colin was like, I'm sorry, can you box our items for us? And he like paid the bill and he rushed me out of there. And he brought me into the car and we went to family's house. The rest of that night was the scariest night of my life. And I'm not even kidding. When I say it was a disaster, it was a disaster. Like if any of you guys have crossfaded before, it means like you finally get back into your head. Your conscious finally works and you're like, Oh my God, where was I for the last however many hours and why am I here? And then all of a sudden your brain will go away for like 10, 15 minutes and then it'll come back in your head and you'll see the time. You'll be like, where was I for 10, 15 minutes? It's really, really scary. Um, and that was going on from, let's see, I took the edible at like 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. This was like midnight or 1 a.m. And I was still doing that cross feeding thing every 15 minutes. Nikki was at our family beach house, so I called her like crying. I remember, and she was just like, just drink water. I called friends that I know have done edibles before, and they're like, oh my God, that's the worst. Like, you've had too much, that's what that means. So I was like scared to fall asleep, you know what I mean? I just had the worst night ever, and I think I eventually ended up falling asleep when we were watching Orange is a New Black. But when I woke up, I felt like I would do the worst hangover ever the next day. What I'm trying to get at is like, I was drugged up, and that was just an edible so i will never be doing them again it truly was the worst experience ever talk about embarrassing i haven't eaten there since i filmed videos outside of it it was a really cute restaurant so to this day colin and i swear that brownie was made with like more than just weed so my advice to you guys and like the reason for these story times like i really just want to be teaching you guys lessons most of the time every story i've done so far with this tea time there's always a lesson behind it and the lesson for this one is do not take edibles do not do the brownies don't do any of that shit you don't know what people could be putting in there for all i know there could have been some serious drugs in there that's just so stupid like i want to shake my old self and be like wake the f up but like <laughs> My old self was so dumb. But yeah, I'm actually full. I'm gonna save some of this. All right, so that's it for this story time. It was a story I've always wanted to tell you guys. Another thing I wanna open up about, my family has a beach house and I was gonna go to that beach house to like take care of it because it needs maintenance. It hasn't been operated since the winter time. Like flush toilets, like turn on the AC, get some air circulating. I don't want like mold to grow in the vents. So I was gonna go do that for my parents this weekend. Might as well enjoy like my private dock there and just like relax and kind of have like a staycation. I'm definitely isolating myself, guys. If people see me at my beach house, they're gonna think, oh, you're telling people it's okay to leave your house, you can go on vacation, but this is my family's beach house. It's my obligation to make sure that the house is okay. If you see on my Instagram story that I'm not at my house, I'm by myself in my other house. Um, so we're gonna drive there tonight. Um, I really would love to film like something there. We have an elevator in that house. Yeah, Colin and I are going this weekend. I don't know how long we're gonna be there. I feel like I'm gonna get there and like fall in love. So I have a long day of packing. In the state where my beach house is, things are opening. 
but I'm not going there. Like I'm not going to open places just because they're open. That is it for this fancy vlog. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know in the comments down below if you like this whole eating show story time. All right, I'll see you guys.